do you motivate yourself when you're feeling down, when you've lost that spark? How do you perk yourself up? It's all up to you. Be miserable or motivate yourself. Whatever has to be done, it's always your choice. These are tough times when unexpected things happen, when things don't seem to be working in your favor. A time of harsh reality, a time of loss. All around the world, it's a time of drastic change. You are demotivated. You've lost your spark, the fuel that keeps you going. You can't seem to get any work done. All you end up doing is waste time. You are becoming more and more complacent with every passing day. You're stuck in a rut. Do yourself a favor. Get out of this state before it's too late. Do this. Divert your attention. You've got to do it. Instead of focusing on what's not working for you, do something that makes you feel good about yourself. Dance to your favorite tune. Get out of the house and spend time at your favorite spot in nature. Go for a swim. Do something totally unrelated to whatever that was keeping you unmotivated. By shifting your mind from what's not working to what's working so well and so easily, you're changing the way you feel about life. You're changing the way you feel about yourself. A change of environment gives you the feeling of a fresh start. Isn't that what you want? 2. Take another look at the direction in which you're heading. A long, hard look. Often, when you're stuck, when you face one block after another, continuously, repeatedly, it's the universe desperately trying to reach out to you, giving you a sign, prompting you to choose a new direction. Perhaps you're working on something that's not the best option for you. Perhaps there's something better out there for you. Perhaps there's something much more suitable for you. Something that will allow you to reach for your highest potential. Pay attention to your needs and desires. What matters to you most? What would make a difference in your life? What would make you feel that you are contributing to society in a very important way? That's what you really want to be doing. That gives you a clue about your purpose. It's about time you get real with yourself. It's so important to have realistic expectations. For this, you've got to be absolutely honest with yourself. Unrealistic expectations set you up for nothing but disappointment. You better face your truth fast. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What kind of environment brings out the best in you? What kind of life would you like to live in five years' time? In the future, what would you like to be known for? If you haven't thought about these questions, you better start thinking right now. Don't make the huge mistake of comparing yourself with anyone 
or anything. You decide on what you want to do. You decide on how you want to live. You are responsible for your life, not anyone else. You are the only one accountable for your actions. So there's really no point in pointing a finger at anyone or anything. Please, wake up. Grow up. Get moving. Keep going forward. You owe it to yourself to do what's best for you. You owe it to yourself to live your best life. You owe it to yourself to live your dream. Make the effort. Never, ever give up. Believe you can and you will. In case you got it wrong all this while, remember, life is not about finding yourself. Life is all about creating yourself.